Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm a realtor with Peak Real Estate Advisors in Indianapolis, powered by Keller Williams Indy Metro North. So you might think that in order to own a brand new home, new construction, that you have to select a crowded, cookie cutter neighborhood somewhere in the suburbs. And I'm here to tell you that that is not the case. Not that there's anything wrong with the cookie cutter house in the suburbs. I myself live in one and I absolutely love it, but it's not for everyone. Lucky for you, if that's not your thing, there are tons of beautiful new construction homes all throughout Indianapolis in quaint, established neighborhoods with mature trees, um, plenty of yard space, and I'm about to show them, or show you one of them today. I'm at 1434 Chester Avenue, and I'm in a neighborhood called Little Flower, which is an adorable neighborhood just outside of Irvington. A lot of older homes in this area, a lot of older bungalow-styled homes, very cute, very quaint, but this is actually a brand new build. It was just completed uh, last year, 2020. It's just over 1,200 square feet, three bedrooms, two baths, modern, updated, beautiful. I wanna show it to you and prove to you that you can find a brand new home within the city of Indianapolis. So let's take a look. As you enter the home, you walk into this big, bright, beautiful, great room. Check out these vaulted ceilings and all of the lighting. Unfortunately, today is sort of a cloudy, dreary day, so I don't have the blinds open, but when you would have the blinds open, you can see there's lots of windows here to let in a lot of great natural light. I want you to check out these beautiful plank floors. And then from the great room, it opens up right into the kitchen and dining area. Nice open kitchen and your dining area right here. Again, more windows. There's one right over the kitchen sink here as well. Beautiful stainless steel appliances, white cabinets. This would also make a perfect spot for an island if you'd like to put an island here with some bar stools, maybe a little extra storage. And again, not only would you have natural light from these windows, but look at all the recessed lighting in these vaulted ceilings. It's really incredible. Let's take a closer look at the kitchen. As I was saying, nice new stainless steel appliances, beautiful white cabinetry with the brass hardware, granite countertops, Gorgeous, and look at this backsplash, I love this. Sort of like the, um, the mermaid or the fishtail tile. Now you'll notice it's missing a stove. There will be a stove put in. So brand new microwave, brand new refrigerator, and like I said, this space too, you would even have room for an island if that's something you'd like to do. But opens up right into your dining and living room. Fresh paint, brand new, everything. Absolutely beautiful. I love this tall arched entry to the hallway that leads you back to the bedrooms and bathrooms. Got a coat closet right off of here, or right off to the left here, right off of your entry. To the right, you've got a door that opens up to the side yard and backyard. Your mechanicals and your washer dryer would go here as well. Nice little mudroom space. Bedroom number one to the left. What I love about all the bedrooms is that they all have these trade ceilings and these ceiling fans. And a lot of times you get, you know, smaller bedrooms in some of the new builds. These bedrooms are a great size. The uh, two bedrooms outside of the master are actually 13 by 11. And here's the master. Got this cute sliding barn door that goes into the ensuite. Look at this beautiful floor to lee tile in here. And this gorgeous shower. All new tile work, just absolutely stunning. Check that out. Who wouldn't want to get ready in the mornings in here? And of course, brand new vanity as well. 
and absolutely gorgeous light fixture above the mirror. And it wouldn't be a master without an excellent walk-in closet. So here you go. Tons of shelf and hanging space for your clothes, your significant other's clothes. Lots of great storage. And they've staged this obviously with just a bed and a couple of end tables. But as you can see, there is tons of room. Another tray ceiling, ceiling fan, but tons of room for a dresser, chair, additional furnishings. And then bedroom number three, again, with the cool tray ceiling, ceiling fan. Wonderful size, like I said, 13 by 11 on these two rooms. A lot of times you'll see bedrooms in this size of a house, maybe 10 by 10. Um, but 13 by 11 is a great size. And look at the closet space. We're not talking about one of those rinky dink little closets with, you know, just the one hanging rail and one shelf. Brand new carpeting, a great neutral grayish beige color. And then let's take a look at the hall bath. Again, beautiful new tile in the shower. This actually has the tub shower combo. So if you've got a family, if you've got little ones, I love how they did kind of a build out here. So you've got a shelf to put all of your shampoo, your body washes, your bubble baths. Another brand new vanity and another super cool light fixture above the mirror. So sadly, it is a cold, icy day here in Indianapolis, but I did want to show you a quick view of the backyard and the garage. So you've actually got a great amount of yard space, and as you can see, it's fully fenced with a nice tall privacy fence. Two-car detached garage, and then you've got this beautiful brand new sidewalk that leads around to the side of the house, and a little deck just off the side. And the entrance here is the mud room that I showed you earlier. I think one of the things I love most about this home is not only that it's brand new, but this is a great starter home for a first time uh, home buyer. It's in a wonderful location, like I said, just outside of Irvington in the Little Flower neighborhood. Irvington, if you're not familiar, is a neighborhood in Indianapolis that is just rich in history in arts, in culture, and it's very, very family oriented. So especially if you're young and starting off with a young family, Irvington's a great location. They do tons of events throughout the year. One of their most well-known, I think, is their Halloween festival that pretty much takes place throughout the entire month of October. But they also do a lot during the holidays, in the spring and summer, just a wonderful location. If you find this information helpful but have additional questions, please leave me a comment. Thanks for watching.